In this video, you will learn how to work with Pickle module in Python. Pickle is a built-in module, so we don't need to install it separately. The Pickle module implements binary protocol for serializing and deserializing a Python object structure. There are two processes, pickling and unpickling. Pickling is a process whereby a Python object is converted into a byte stream. Unpickling is the inverse operation whereby a byte stream is converted back into an object. Pickling is alternatively known as serialization, marshalling or flattening. Let's import pickle module. Import pickle. Now I'm going to create a list and save the object as pickle. My list name will be color and inside this I will put some random colors. Let's say red, blue, green, yellow and black. And if I print this object color, you will see we got list of colors here. And if I check the type of this object type of color, you will see here it is a list. Now we are going to dump this color object as pickle. And to do that, we will use the method dump from this pickle module. I will call this function. I will call the class pickle. And from this, I will call the method dump. To save any object as pickle, you have to call this method dump. Now inside this, you have to pass the object and we want to dump this color as a pickle object. So I'll write here color and then you have to pass one parameter which is open and inside this you have to give a file name as our file name will be let's say color and then you have to give the extension the extension for pickle is dot pkl and then you have to write wb wb stands for write binary and if i execute this code and before executing the code let me show you the folder this is my working directory here this is a working directory you can see and here you see that there is no color.pkl object and now if i execute the code let me execute it so i have dumped this color object as pickle so i should get one file color.pkl in my current working directory and if i open this current working directory here you can see i've got this object color.pkl so now i have a pkl or that is a pickle object using this method pickle.dump. This will dump the color list as pickle object in our current working directory. And now next we will read this pkl file that is a pickle file. And let's read it. Read pickle object. Here we have seen how to dump any object as a pickle object and here we will see how we can read it and to read it let me make one variable we will create one variable let's say color underscore pkl and to read it we will call the class pickle and from this we will call the method load load function will help us to read the pickle object and load it in our Jupyter notebook and inside this we will pass one parameter open inside this we have to pass the pkl file or the pickle file name our pickle file name is color.pkl and then we have to pass one more parameter and that parameter is rb that is read binary and if i execute this code i have read it this color.pkl file and saved in this object color underscore pkl and if i call this color underscore pkl you can see that I've got the list of colors, red, blue, green, yellow, and black. So there are two steps. The first step is to dump any object as pickle using the method dump. And you have the same parameter. You have to pass the object name. Then you have to pass this parameter open. Inside this, you have to give your pickle file name and you always have to put the extension that is .pkl. And this argument WB stands for write binary because we are writing a file here. And when you want to read this pickle object, you have to do the same thing. Just here you have to use the method load because we are loading it. Then open and then the pickle file name. 
and here you have to uh, notice that we are writing RB R stands for read so here we are reading the file that is why we are writing RB and this is how you will read the pickle object and save it in your Jupyter notebook or in any IDE. This tutorial was about how you can use the pickle module and how you can write and read the pickle file. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.